you've been in venture capital, I mean, pretty much your whole career. And given what's happening in fintech, uh, what's your perspective on where we are? Do you think we're going to see many more major uh, disruptions, to use that word, uh, in fintech? Or what inning are we in? I have a, a, a friend named Shamath Paliapatiya who ran growth at Facebook and started a venture capital firm named uh, Social Capital. And he likes to say that there are three industries that really have yet to be affected by the internet. And they are financial services, education, and healthcare. They're the three remaining green fields. And I think one of the reasons why you're seeing so much investment of late and so much activity is there's a heck of a lot of opportunity in those spaces. We're in this sort of you know, golden age of these startups coming in and just disrupting these existing industries, but you've been at this a long time. So what is similar to the last time this happened, just in general, and, and what's different in your mind? Well, when, first of all, uh, as you heard me say earlier, I think software is eating the world, that it, uh, software enables a new kind of business model, and it's business models that disrupt companies. It's not technology. This is, I think, the, the point that most people misunderstand, because if disruption is the case where uh, a, it's uneconomic for the incumbent to compete, the thing that makes it uneconomic is the business model. And software is enabling a radical change in business models. For example, in our business, we charge less than a quarter of a percent for our annual advisory fee. Well, that's a fraction of the cost of a traditional advisor delivering their service, not a fraction of their price, a fraction of their cost. So there's no way that they can do what we do without incurring a very, very significant loss. And we're seeing that across all industries. Mm -hmm.